Hi, I'm Dr. Arthi Thangadu. I'm a physician who focuses on diabetes, thyroid, hormones, and other metabolic diseases. Thanks so much for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like to help me get the message out on evidence-based endocrinology. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. So there is so much confusion regarding the adrenals out there. And I wanted to clarify what is actually evidence-based testing. There are many different tests available out there, things that you can do at home, things that different providers are doing, salivary testing, various blood testing. So I wanted to come on as an expert to clarify what is actually the evidence-based testing for adrenal insufficiency. Before we get there, there are some symptoms of adrenal insufficiency that are typically present. These include weight loss, extreme fatigue, nausea, abdominal cramping. You can also have hypoglycemia, salt craving, low sodium, and some patients with primary adrenal insufficiency have high potassium. Adrenal insufficiency is an important diagnosis to make because adrenal insufficiency can be life-threatening. So how do we diagnose adrenal insufficiency? Well, we do an ACTH stem test. This is a test where you are given something called cosyntropin after baseline tests are drawn and the cortisol is then checked at 30 minutes and 60 minutes after the cosyntropin is given. Cosyntropin is synthetic ACTH that stimulates the adrenals to secrete cortisol. If you have an appropriate adrenal response to cosyntropin, then there is no diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. If you have an inappropriate response, so the cortisol doesn't rise appropriately, then we can make a diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. There is no salivary test that can diagnose adrenal insufficiency or that should indicate that you should be on any adrenal supplementation. It is very, very important to treat adrenal insufficiency when it is diagnosed. However, treating with adrenal hormones in patients who don't have adrenal insufficiency can cause adrenal insufficiency. So it is very unsafe to take adrenal supplements or adrenal hormones if you don't have a definitive diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to seek a specialist. You can reach out to me and we can help clarify whether or not you had a true diagnosis of an issue with your adrenals before starting therapy. I hope this was beneficial and helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions on this topic. Thanks so much for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with anyone who you think could benefit. Thanks so much and see you next time.